Hey guys, and um, welcome to episode 13 of this Advent Calendar. Uh, yes, this is show number 260 overall. How do you like that? Now we have a special guest coming up later on. But first of all, let's get the first bit out of the way and uh, let's see what's behind door number 13 of our Hootastic advent calendar if I can get the chocolate out where's that gone now? there it is right let's examine the appearance of this chocolate and see what we got it appears to be uh, something that looks rather like what does that look like to you? Huh. sorry I didn't give you much time to look at it um anyway um pretty excited now we only have 11 more sleeps till Christmas so uh, that could have been t told to you in a very different way such as this take a look at this animation I cannot Adam and Eve it we only have 11 more sleeps left till Christmas it's getting really close I'm so excited about it already Millie mum said it's time to put you to bed okay I'll go up to bed Okay guys, that was our advent animation for today. Now, Santa will be here very soon. While we're waiting for him, how about a blast of a Christmas carol? It can't hurt if I have all these apps. Let's not turn them into craps. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to start with I'm a little snowman I'm a little snowman round and fat here are my mittens, here is my hat, and a little scarf and a carrot nose. You stand so tall when the cold wind blows. I'm a little snowman, round and fat. Here are my mittens, here is my hat. And a little scarf and a carrot nose. You stand so tall when the cold wind blows. Now, if you're wondering why that sounds so familiar to a tune of a particular nursery rhyme, it's because it is. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When the kettle's boiling, hear me shout. Tip me up and pour me out. Don't want to make an idiot of myself doing that one again. <laughs> anyway, um. 
So let's do one I won't be making an idiot of myself out of for singing. <laughs> um, right. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtail ring, making spirits bright. A oh, what fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, Batman smiles, Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile lost its will, the Joker got away. There we go, 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 ride, and turn into a right. And seated by my side, the horse on the and lane. Misfortune seemed his lot. He got into a drifted bank, and we got sound of sight. Oh, jingle bells, Batman's mouse, Robin flew away. Uncle Billy lost his willy on the motorway. Hey, jingle bells, Batman smiles, Robin laid in it. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. That's enough Christmas carols for now. There may be some more later on, I don't know. But coming up next... Definitely Santa. Until then, don't get set up top. And don't let a one horse open sleigh drive you into a drifted bank. I'll be back, or will be back, after this. I'm just working on my naughty and nice list. Is that someone I hear coming in? Hello, Santa. Oh, uh, hello. What's your name then? I'm Gobbo. Gobbo? Yeah. You don't look like a goblin from Noddy. I'm not a goblin. My name is Gobbo. <laughs> What's your deal? What's my deal? Well, I can give you two on two fifty, ten on the dollar, twelve on the euro. What do you say? Shake my hand. Let's do it. All right. I'm now Santa Claus. Cool. Where do I start? Well, you're my assistant now. Aren't you? I need some help looking over this year's naughty and nice list. I can do that. Okay. Here it is. Okay. So, all the way. Yep, all noy. Coal. Yeah, it's got to be a mistake. You're gonna need a lot of coal. Uh, I There's only cool. one, only one nice kid on the whole list. And that is little old Gobbo. Does that mean he gets everything? Because there's no sense in letting everyone else's stuff go to waste. This is here, Gobby. Gobbo. I cut you. A little bit of slack at this time of year. Yeah. But they're all winter. So they all get their presents. All the Uh huh. And you are not? Nope. What do you see on the about list. that? Go on the list. What do you see about that? Your room. A customer is always right. Well, not at the North Pole, I'm afraid. Why? Hey, Why? this is a hoax list. Why are you afraid? Because this is a hoax list. You must have got from the joke shop. Oh. So who would have planted the hoax list? Gobby would have. Who's Gobby? You are. No, I'm Gobbo. Gobbo. Gobby. Santa's death. I'm the man in charge of the North Pole. Do you get any presents for Christmas? Ho 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 ho. Chill out, it's not that funny. 
It wasn't a rhetorical question, Sam. Ho 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 ho. I take that as a no. Sam will not get prezzies for Christmas. Your wife gives me some stuff, yes. What, Mrs. Claus? Yes. Can I meet her? She's not around at the moment. Oh. Where is it? She's off feeding the reindeer. <gasps> Can we go see the reindeer? Well, they don't. They're, they're shy, actually. Typical. That's why they only go out at night, then, is it? Well, I need them on Christmas Eve. They're getting plenty of bread. Okie dokie. So, what kind of salary would this gig go to run? Uh, how much do you make a year? <laughs> I do it out of love. For all the children of the world. So how much, how much, like what's the value of that love? Well, love doesn't cost anything, so... So you do this all voluntarily? Yes. But it's all it costs you money. Well, um, it screws the parents over. So how much money have you got if you're able to do this every year? <laughs> That's confidential, my love. Oh, Santa. That's Mr. Claus to you. And that, my dear friends, was our Santa sketch for today. Now, you might be wondering why I'm still wearing the jumpsuit. Well, I have a secret to share with you that no one naturally knows unless they've seen any of the earlier episodes in which Santa's appeared. My real name is Claus. James Claus. And I'm the son of Santa. No, guys, I'm not having you on. I'm his naughty and nest. Ness? I'm his, I'm his naughty and nice list checker. And uh, this is really my brother, Noas, Sean. He likes to be called Gobby. <laughs> Gobbo. <laughs> and, uh. Ah. Another alert just come in. Some Norwegian kid called Duchess Begutchus. Wait, don't Dutch people come from Finland? Not uh -huh. Norway? No, that's Finnish people. What am I speaking of? What am I, what am I thinking of? The Netherlands, that's where Dutch people come from. You're speaking quadruple Dutch right now. Ah, uh, we have to knock him off the list. He's a Muslim. Which means he's a terrorist. And this episode's going on YouTube. We just made reference to Al Qaeda. <laughs> and a uh, Christmas episode. I'm not racist. <laughs> Nor am I. It's all for good fun. With no apologies there. Someone's got a ball under his bot. That's Cockney slang for. Like that. I don't think the Cockneys have a rhyme for wonker. Yeah, Billy Wonka. No, I thought that was slang for wanker. Hey, that's. Tom Hanker. Uh huh. Or oh, could it banker. be investment Mr. banker? Yes, Mr. Banker, investment banker. Any oh, banker is a wanker. Out.
This isn't Easter, so we're not going to do the Willy Wonka rap. <laughs> Fine. His name is Willy Wonka, he owns a chocolate factory. He has a bunch of Oompa Loompas who work there in his factory. They laugh at other people's misfortunes, they're all a bunch of wankers. And the biggest wanker of all is the man himself, Willy Wonka, big fat wanker. Well, that's a slight different variation of the one I did last Easter. That's the remix, isn't it? <laughs> anyway. Hot demand. And a hot demand is what we should have. Anyway, guys. We'll be cutting off now. I'll see you later, guys.